Hey, happy Monday. It's time for that Monday report. You're right. That's right. This is Ted's take for the week ending November 11th, 2023. Of course, this is a special weekend. This was Veterans Day. We observed on Saturday. And a big shout out to all of my uh, fellow brothers and sisters in arms that I had the privilege of serving with for over 20 years in the United States Navy. Uh, you see down here, I recognize all of my all of my fellow service members, and uh, a big a big thank you to all of those who continue to serve our great country. And uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on with the report. But I did want to like I said, I wanted to give that little shout out to everybody. All right, taking a look at things from last week, we saw that new listings did jump up uh, 9% to 519. That was uh, new homes entering the market. The four-week average is about 485. So while it, uh, while it looks like a significant jump, I think we were down a little bit last week, so things are pretty much leveled out. Number of homes that went pending last week, 469. That's up 6%, and it is above the four-week moving average of about 447. Now, the number of homes that closed out their contracts last, lo- uh, last week this kind of surprised me a little bit. 330. See, that's down 35% from the week before, uh, and certainly off of the four-week moving average of uh, 434. So we'll need to take a, we'll keep a closer eye on that number. It might have just been one of those uh, statistical anomalies for the week, uh, so I wouldn't put too much into it. See, the number of expireds was down from 43% last week, but I leave that arrow kind of just facing horizontal because really, on average. We see about 29 now, uh, 29 expires week to week. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on and take that deeper dive, shall we? All right, taking that deeper dive across to Orange and Seminole counties, you see really there's not a whole lot of change in uh, change in things. There's uh, average day of uh, average days on the market holding right at about 32. The median days on the market 13. We see 13, 14, 15 days. So really not much change there either. And also the median price, median sale price of homes seems to have been off the highs from earlier this summer where we did see some peaks at about 465 median price over the last week or so is about 420 and we're seeing that start to level out over about the last three weeks or so that could be good news for buyers all right wrapping up the report for the week you know that the what it what it looks like is that the marketing appear or market appears to be leveling out maybe even softening in a few places and this is good news for buyers who might have been sitting on the sidelines also good news for sellers because while you may not be getting those uh, crazy price asking prices that we saw a year and a half ago at least you got a really good opportunity to uh to get your home on the market and get it sold quickly uh, because again things are starting to level out a little bit homes entering the market did bump up last week so more inventory again more inventory good for buyers right a median price, as we discussed previously, holding right at about 420, uh, 420,000. Uh, like I said, that sure is a lot of money, but uh, it does seem to be leveling out there. Uh, also, last week we did see mortgage rates start to fall off of those highs of, of above 8%. Uh, that was kind of a little bit scary. Uh, some of those uh, some of those rates are now down in the uh, in the mid sevens, and uh, some of those FHA rates actually dropped below 7%. So. As I say every week, uh, the best time to buy is now. Uh, you buy uh, real estate and you can you can wait to buy real estate or buy real estate and wait. Uh, the second option is generally the better way to go. Listen, that was this is the report for last week. Um, you can always contact me for more information because I do have detailed reports or, on all of these different markets out there. I just don't want to take everybody's time breaking them down. Several County, Orange County, I can break them down by neighborhoods. I can do this all day long, but I don't want to take any more of your time. Have a great week. And if you have any needs before then, right there is my number. Give me a call and uh, we'll talk about things. Have a good one.